Hey, how's it going, Yugi Two? This is All from Sauce, uh, representing Team Spix Mix, and I'm here for you guys with a whole new segment I just came up with about 30 minutes ago. Um, it's the late night snack with your boy Awesome Sauce. Get it? Like late night snack. Um, um, awesome Sauce. Um, um, get it? Um, basically, what this is meant to do is just for me to talk to you guys about what I've been been on my mind with the, uh, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and um, anything really um, that comes to my head. Um, in particular, tonight's subject, um, and I'm for you guys, I'm going to give you guys some food for thought at the end of it. I'm uh, going to give you guys some uh, my opinions on the topic of tonight, uh, which is uh, re-emergence of decks. Um, and at the end, I'm going to ask you guys a question, and I hope you guys respond to it. Um, so, uh, basically, the topic of the night is re-emerging decks. You see, I came up with this uh, whole concept of this segment, you know. Why not? Um, so re-emerging decks. This is what's um, all been on my mind. Um, I noticed that a lot of the mainstream meta decks, especially in the DN, haven't been really being seen play as much. Um, so it got me thinking. Um, meta decks aren't being played. What is going to be played? That's what got me thinking. Maybe people are going to start bringing back some a little bit older decks, but, you know, since Exceeds come out, came out, um, Synchros are basically almost irrelevant at this point, which is sad because... Sinking, I feel like it was um, one of the most beneficial games, things for the game in general. Um, I like, I prefer it more than exceeding, to be completely honest, but that's just me. Um, so, I got to thinking, you know, what am I, uh, what am I gonna do? I need a deck, I need a new deck. I was actually considering building the new Hieratic deck. Um, I don't know if I will anymore. Um, that deck is, uh, has some good strong points. Um, but honestly, it's just a beat stick deck. Uh, at the end of the day, that deck, yeah, but you can only play it so many ways. You know what I mean? Um, it's not very, it's very linear, that deck. Distributing uh, and all this. You, you play Master Restricts, you side three Master Restricts, and that's, that's game. That, you can't, you can't do anything with that. Um, so it got me thinking. What, what's gonna happen? Um, and then my cousin, uh, my cousin uh, Echo Shine Twenty Three, my teammate as well. Um, he got me. In a, he gave me a couple of ideas for decks. Um, he's actually building a deck that I'm gonna talk about later um, in a segment. But um, the deck that I'm making that I would record for earlier, if you saw the video, is Gladiator Beasts. Why is I'm gonna talk to you guys about why this card in particular. Along with his partner, Gaizaris, he's going to be, should be, if people start playing it again, which I feel like people should, um, they're going to be game changers. And also, um, why Gladiator Beasts um, could be competitive. So let's start off with, let's start with that. Why Gladiator Beasts could be competitive. Everyone's going to be running three or five brailers now, right? You're not running three effect levels in the meta. Uh, you don't stand a chance. Maxis, not so much. Um, but the effect levels, um, they basically kill all the top decks. And um, if my voice sounds weird on the mic, it's because the mic's a little fuzzy. But whatever. Um, so two to three effect levels. This deck, I might, I'm gonna run one. So why is this deck not really a big thing with that? Number one, these cards, Gladiator Beasts, yeah, sure, when you summon them, you're going to want to tag out immediately. However, these cards also have, what? Test Tiger? What? 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 Test Tiger. Okay. Plan A and Plan B. Not a lot of decks have a Plan B. You play Effect Veiler, what are you going to do? Set Solemn Warning and then end your turn? No. Not with GBs. The 
GVs, what you can do. So summon uh, summon BCR. Or let's say that is attack with Mermelo. Mermelo also a very, very good card. Um, pop a monster on the field when it's tagged out. Awesome. So attack from Mermelo, right? Tag out. Uh, summon BCR. Oh no, effect failure. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh no. I don't have it with me, but I'm a special summon test tiger. Get this DR off the field, get a quarry. Well, you want to effect failure my test tiger too and waste two effect failures in one move? Go ahead. I still have two more test tigers. I still have one more failure. And I have two monsters in the field. So regardless, I'm okay. I'll set uh, defensive tactics and uh, war chariot, and then I'm good. So. Um, backups. I feel Gladiator Beast, as opposed to a lot of other decks, have a backup plan. Um, secondly, um, Gladiator Beasts are not sinking based, so the whole synchro monster didn't really affect them. But at the same time, they are compatible with XYZ, or with XZ monsters. I can make Utopia like that with the deck. I can even make Lydia, Leviathan, or well, my choice in this deck would be MX Saber and Velker. That would be, that'd be my choice in this deck. Um, that, in and of itself, the fact that it can use fusion monsters, which not a lot of people see, so not a lot of people will fear for it because fusion summoning is not really a special summon, so you can't. Actually, it's not a fusion. Fusion summon is not a special summon, so you can't Thunder King it. Can't negate it with Thunder King, so you're gonna have to waste a running on it. But especially guys on it, popping two monsters, popping two cards in the field, just like that. You want to effect there? That's your third Veiler. Okay, I'm gonna attack because it's a 24 beat stick. Or if I wanted to, I could special summon another test tag and tag it out for something else. I don't know why I would do that, but probably do avoid losing it. But you know, I'm okay. I'm still good. Um, that's GBs, I feel like can be very competitive, I'm going to start making it, and I'm going to start making it competitive. Before I end this, I'm um, talk about one more deck that I shit you not. It's going to be in the meta, top 32s. Maybe top 8s. Maybe top 8s. Definitely top 32. Definitely top 16. Six Samurais. Why? What? Six Samurais. What? I said Six Samurais. Two words. Starter deck. Starter deck. Because six Sams are being reprinted and they come out with the starter deck, people are going to slam on those, especially since with that deck comes English Chain. What? English Chain. And then exceed six Sam. So, what does that mean? They have Shein. They have this exceed monster that I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure it's going to be OP. Um, they have that basically swarm mentality, and not the fact that they swarm, but they all when they swarm, they're all at least eighteen hundred beat sticks, which GBs can't really run over. I can play defensive tactics and tag out for everything. <laughs> I mean, that's different. But. And then at the same time, you want to play it? Go ahead. It's still an 1800 beat stick. Sheehan is still a 22. Bandmaster, bam, special summon. Six Sams, be prepared to see six Sams. Everyone should be prepared to see six Sams in the meta. Especially, everyone's going to be seeing that fiendish chain in their decks like that. I guarantee you, give it like three weeks after fiendish chain comes out. That'll be, you know, at least two in every deck. At least two. Kind of like the Solemn Brigade, you have to have it. Um, this, so, this has been Late Night Snack with Awesome Sauce. And this is food for thought. Question I'm gonna um, 
I'm going to wear, I'm sorry, this is going to be a question I present to you, but I really would like a response from. Like, so a lot of people will be like, yo, subscribe to the comment of you. But I actually read individual comments, and I try to reply to them, at least the ones I find interesting, or some merit, not just, hey, you misspelled this, or, oh, good, nice, bad, uh, like, I like to basically interact with you guys. So, this is the food for thought. If you've been here the whole time, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you guys are watching this video. I'm going to wrap it up right now. In the next two or three weeks, what are you going to be playing? At your locals, what are you going to be playing and why? At the same time, what second question? What deck do you feel like will come back up again? Like at Dallas, I think it was, it was Twilight. Just out of the blue, random Twilight deck. Dark World, I freaking nowhere. What do you think it's going to be? My bet? Six Sands. That's my bet. This, so, what decks do you guys be playing this month, in May? And what decks do you guys feel like within the next two to three months are going to come back up in uh, the YCS or at your locals? So that's food for thought. Chew on that. This is awesome sauce. This is your late night snack. Thank you guys for watching so much. I'll be back next week or in a couple of days if I feel like just recording another episode. Holla at your boy.